Welcome. Tim Melan. Read Bobby Smoking. Donna King by the beach dot com. Always remember shop now. Enhance your life, get active. So subject of today, reach beyond the stars. The second dimension. Right, second dimension that we understood in the other video. The first dimension is a point. The second dimension is a line. So if you're gonna be on the second dimension, you have to be on the line. Alright? Then the third dimension is an object. So once you understand that, a point, a line, an object, you can reach beyond the stars now because the stars are just the light and sound projection emitted up to the, shall we say, the top of our atmosphere, right? And it becomes visible, the stars are visible whenever the projection allowed them to be visible. Right? We all we all have seen the star at the same time as the sun is up. And once the sun is moving about and getting ready to set, you can see stars. So that let you know. You know, it's not the sun's light that blocks our vision. It's the star's motion that's in sync, in line with the actual motion of the sun. They go in tandem. You know, everything has their own rate of passage. The moon has its own circulation. The stars that have their circulation. And the sun has its circulation. So to reach beyond the stars, in the other series, we learn how to let it go. So now you stick to that and let it go. To reach beyond the stars, you must travel at night. You must remember your lucid dreams. And if you don't remember, I mean, you have no burdens. You have let go. Unless you think of something focused or whatever. Your rest is true rest. Your body is in sync when you are asleep. Everything is about rest. And that's why the, the main purposes of torture and all that, it starts with sleep deprivation and depriving you of motion and just to, to make your angst go up. So to reach the high level, you have to do the other. At the become acclimated with being deprived of these things to enhance your awareness so once you're back in these functions you know being sleep deprived and now you understand the value of sleep being motion deprived then you understand the value of motion and now you can uh, be armed with this information and move about your day beyond the stars why because you know what star pattern you live under right so we didn't have electricity we didn't have gps we didn't have uh, a compass how would you know your direction how would you know where you are how would you know how long you've traveled and the way to know that is from the stars. So the stars are our, are our guiding post. Because compasses fail, right? We all know about the Bermuda Triangle. Can't rely on the compass all the time. Can't fly with a laser beam and all this other stuff. Guided laser. So it's the stars. Right? We got wandering stars fixed stars depending on their coast circulation the picture that you see of the heavens above you lets you know your place in the world now if you sit outside every day you'll notice the pattern of the heavens above you at certain time frames now when you're armed with this information 
your body gonna tell you to do stuff. You probably come up with a ritual. You probably you probably sleep better. You probably have any type of other counter effect, but just by you acting on this information, you're now in line with the universe and with nature. And that's how you reach beyond the stars. To know when the sun is coming up, to know in advance when there's an eclipse, to know in advance when uh, certain stars are going to be in certain locations. And you just look up right into those points. That's how you reach beyond the stars. There is no physically going beyond the stars. Just understanding where you are. Once you understand where you are, now you can go further. And that's what entices man to always go further. You're comfortable in the daytime where you are in your present state. And you become comfortable at nighttime in your present state, in the stars. Now, once you become comfortable in your present state at nighttime, now you are willing to journey at night with those nocturnal animals. And that's how you become more empowered. <clears throat> Although we have killed all the dangerous animals by our nighttime exploration, explorations the same still holds true journey into the night welcome to a mentee reach beyond the stars you ain't understand what I said because you're on the first dimension and you ain't get the point the second dimension is the line look at the solar boat sitting on the line on a square I'm out everybody Everybody is brown. There is no white and black. That's on the next series.